Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your mid-July reading for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So this is for mid-July. I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. We're going to do you and the other person. It could go vice versa. You could be over here. You, could, he, you choose. You choose. When I'm reading the cards, I don't know why. I tend to think this pile is you. But if this pile is you, then so be it. You choose. It is what it is. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got for mid-July? Them. Them and the other person. I feel like these both got to go over here. Ooh, Eight of Swords and the Star Reverse. This is this is losing faith, discouraged, insecure, unfortunately. <laughs> this is somebody who may be losing faith in a state of despair, you know, stuck, uh, trapped, mentally trapped. You know, you got to remember, your thoughts become things, you know. This is a mental prison right here. Now, if you think negative, and this is negative, is if you think negative, then hey, that's what you're going to call into your life. You have to change your thoughts. You have to change your perspectives. Perspectives. You have to go after your dreams. If you sit in a state of self-loathing, because this is self-loathing, if you stay in that state, <laughs> that's your choice. Just like you can choose to be over here. That is your choice. You can choose to step outside of your comfort zone. You can choose to face your fears. You can choose to go after wish fulfillment. You can choose to, you know, pray for it, you know, and it will come. But you, but you, you, you have to think positive. Just saying. You got to think positive, okay? You may be, you know, loathing. <laughs> Sorry to keep going back because it's like somebody is loathing because it's like it's not coming fast enough. Where is it? Are my prayers ever going to be answered? Well, if you're choosing to be stuck, maybe there's an obstacle in the way that you need to remove yourself from. Could be your own thinking. It could be you. Maybe you're stuck in a situation. Maybe you're trapped. Maybe you're tied to a situation that you shouldn't be tied to. But you can break free. You have a mouth. You can wiggle out of it. You can get out of it. But if you don't get out of it, well, that's what you choose. And my voice tone changes with the energy that I'm feeling. They give me the tone to use that will affect you. Now, if I said this under my breath, it wouldn't be affecting you like it is right now. Open your mouth. Mm, this person has secrets. This person is deceptive this I mean the moon card there's something you don't know there's something hidden here no oh, ace of cups reversed oh this is this isn't love the ace of cups reversed it's not it's not emotionally fulfilling this is shutting down this is shutting down. Justice. A decision. This person. This is, is being weighed down by some sort of heavy decision. You know, this person may be dealing with some legal issues or they may, may be making their decisions based on a legal outcome. You know, maybe there's whoever this person is, is, is hiding something because of, um, maybe they're going through a divorce or they're going through some legal affairs that are, you know, they don't want to 
something. Moves on. Anyway, this is justice. This has to do with legal, legal issues. I don't, and I don't usually say that. I don't usually say that with the justice card, but I really feel that. I feel like this has to do with money. <laughs> yes, and assets. I knew this is what this was. I did. It's like this person is, they may be pretending to love you or, because this is fantasy. This is pretending that it's love because of money. I can't make that shit up. I'm sorry. I'd like to, but I can't. Okay. Um, we got somebody here that is not, they're not telling the truth. Okay. There's falsities. There's something hidden here. There's not, this isn't love, but they may be pretending that it's love because of money, because of, you know, a roof over their head or, or because of assets or because of the pending legal issues or what legal issues could arise. This definitely has to do with money. It has to do with a roof or finances or something like that. Um, this person is being weighed down by, cause this is, this is being weighed down by, you know, the, the assets, the finances, the money, the, the, the stability could be the family. I got to keep going over here. Five of swords, four of swords. Oh my God. So the, whoever you are dealing with, whoever you are dealing with, they are exhausted. They are, they have, they probably have health issues. They could have addictions. Okay. They could have addictions. They could, and this could be you. I don't know, because this could be, we're going to go vice versa here. This person doesn't want to lose. They don't want to lose. They want to do anything to be happy, even if it's not love. Anything, anything to get what they want. Anything for it to, you know, come out in their favor. They're, they may, this is, this is Prince Charming. This person will probably present you with love. Okay, this person will present you with love. They will tell you that they love you. They will, you know, say everything that they got to say. But it's not, it's probably not true. Okay, unfortunately, I got to be honest with you. Um, wow. Let's go back over to here. Victory, success, making progress, being your own hero. It's, a, it's funny. That song popped in instantly. It's by Mariah Carey. It's a hero by Mariah Carey. It's when you find that hero within yourself to go after the, the, the perfect match, okay? I think that you probably have another suitor, whoever this person is. This person has an opportunity with somebody that is perfect for them, but this person is not who they thought it was, and they may be, you know, <laughs> needing to look at things from another perspective. Like I said before, it's like you, 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 you're presented with a, a new choice, a new, you have to make a choice now between two, probably this person and this person. Anyway, it's like you got this new opportunity here, somebody that you did not expect. This person probably doesn't fit your physical description. And this is not the person that is over here. Just so you said, just, just so you know, this per, this person can help you to heal, but you're going to have to, it's like these, this angel has brought you two together and you're, you're uncertain. <clears throat> you are uncertain about this person. You see the uncertainty on the face, the faces, both people are uncertain. Both people are uncertain because it doesn't seem like it should be this way. It's like, should I do this? Should I do this? Should I do this? Should I do this? And it's like, you're not getting the answer, but you have gotten the answer. You just haven't listened. You got somebody, there's self doubt here. You're doubting yourself. Oh my God. You don't know your value. Oh God. You've given your energy away to the wrong one. No ambition, no drive. Don't want to accept challenge right here. I don't want to deal with the challenge. I'm weak. I can't make this shit up and I'm not going to. You have somebody that has come into your life or they are coming into your life. This person can help you to heal. This person is a good match for you. They may not fit the description that you are used to. They're not like the rest of them. This person has something to offer you. This is 
the answer to your prayers. It is something that you manifested. But you're, you need to remove an obstacle first. There's an obstacle in the way of you coming together with this person. Fully. You have to be your own hero. And don't let your negative thinking and don't let your lack of discipline and your lack of willpower and your lack of strength get in the way because it's in there. It is in there. It's in you. But you choose. And this is a choice. This is you choose. The lover's card. You choose your destiny. You choose your fate. Oh my God, I got the goosebumps. Un I gotta show you this shit. Look at that. Sorry. I said, I, I wasn't looking. I got right into it. You choose your fate. The sun card reversed. Unhappy, sad, depressed, loathing. You're unhappy because you, you know there's somebody better for you. Or you don't know. It's like you feel it. But, you, but you're not removing the obstacle that's in the way that allows you to go after it. It's like you have to be practical. You have to pass this test. It's like you have somebody probably on the outskirts that, that is coming in or they have come in. And it's like you're refusing to break free to allow this, you know, big opportunity to... Prosper. Okay, there's the, this person over here is in a sad state of negative thinking, and I can't make that shit up. All right, I can't. It's like they're they're allowing somebody to take control. You have the skills, make a plan, and stick to it. Set a goal. And stick to it. Focus on the future. Seriously. What you have been, been waiting for. It's coming. It's almost here. It's like he can see it. It's like you can. And like, like I said. I thought you could see it. It's like you can see it. You know it. You know it. It's like you can see it. You can. It's right there. You can see it in the distance. It's right there. What you want is right there. But you have to unbound yourself from whatever it is that you're stuck to. And stop looking back. Stop going back. Get on the new boat. Okay? Take the ride that you have been wanting to take. Queen of Pentacles, reverse. This is unstable, insecure. With, with right, right here, we got. I mean, both these queens reverse. We got somebody who's lazy. I mean, they're both lazy and reversed. You know, you're gonna have to. You can't be lazy. Yeah, you can't be lazy. And you may feel, you may feel like you don't have, you don't have the money. You don't have the money. It's fuck the money. It's about happiness. It's about your happiness. You now have a choice. This person over here has to make a choice. Are you ready? Are you ready to get prepared for the right one? Are you ready? Are you? That's your choice. Drop the need for money or security or any of that. Drop it. Happiness matters more. Seriously. But, whatever. You have an uh, unexpected opportunity for new love. But your insecurities are in the way. Find that strength. Remember who you are. I think you've forgotten. Here, we have a deceptive person that is holding on just for the stability as well. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Sad, sad, sad. No love. 
This person has, there's no love here. And both people are thinking about walking away. And I'm going to stop right there. You choose your fate. You choose your destiny. Do you want to deal with somebody who's in it just for the roof? Or, or the assets, the money? Or do you want to fall in love with the right one? Because you have that option. Good luck.